I think I was about eight years old and my parents got into sailing and obviously you get dragged along with any activity they want to do when you're, when you're little and I absolutely hated it to start with. And it wasn't until we went away on a sailing holiday and I think warm water was a big factor behind it all and just kind of realised there was, you know, it was fun, there was nothing to be scared of and you know, it was actually you know, a fantastic sport to be involved in and then came back and um, did junior helm week with my club and did my first club race and that went really well and I kind of never really looked back since. I think what drives me and inspires me to, to continue and carry on and, and, you know, and to compete in Rio is the chances of winning another gold medal and being able to defend my title which at the moment no Paralympic sailor in the 2.4 metre class has ever managed to achieve. So I sell a boat called 2.4 metre class, it is not 2.4 metres long. It's about 4.2 metres long. It's the baby of the metre class family of which the old classic America's Cup, the 12 metres, is obviously the largest of the metre family. And I think what's quite special about it is it was designed as an able body class. Um, it's a massive, massive following in the Scandinavian countries, but what's really special about the boat is it can be easily adapted to suit anybody's disability. So as soon as you leave the dock and you go out there racing, you're on an even playing field, and it means that the severely disabled can race against able bodied guys and know they stand an equal chance of winning. The standard of the 2.4 metre class has always been high, but I think it's got even higher. There's, you know, it's, it's now quite easy to actually you know, make, make a couple of mistakes and suddenly find yourself you know, back in eighth or ninth. Whereas in the past, you could get away with making a couple of mistakes and maybe end up fourth or fifth. I'm really pleased with my kit right now and um, you know, I think in most conditions, I've got some really good speed, which, um, which is obviously really useful, gets me out of trouble a few times. Um, and I think, you know, I think one of the big ones is like kind of determination and an attitude of like never giving up. And every single point counts, every boat you can pass counts. A uh, career high point has got to be obviously winning gold medal in, in London. Yeah, doesn't get any better than that. Hopefully if I have the opportunity to be standing on the top step once again in Rio, I think perhaps having obviously won it once before, I think it, it, will, feel quite, it will feel quite different, I think. And it will probably be, yeah, just again, a huge amount of excitement and um, yeah I think it will be a very emotional moment for sure especially as obviously this is the last chance um, that you know there is for Paralympic sailing to, to, to win medals so you know it's, my, it's certainly my last chance of, of winning a medal and hopefully a gold medal so I think it would actually be really quite an emotional moment 